backseat without knockout. Do you know that one of the cars is on the Yes, to land this Mr. Fish. Walter Gretzky. How are you, sir? Oh, I'm fine. I'm still standing beside you. Hey, wow. Sorry, <laughs> Take two. Oh, Just go ahead and pinch me. Go on now. Their craft has to be a 48 foot wooden schooners, the traditional kind. Everybody, I'm Stephanie Beaumont. Welcome to part two of our Maritimes in a Day show. To recap our road trip map, we started out with the Blue Nose in Lunenburg, then took the lighthouse route to Chester with a quick break for a breakfast sandwich, then jumped on the 103 to Halifax, made a detour for the brand new Dave Gunning album to add to our soundtrack prize pack, and then made a beeline for the Mr. D set, where we met up with co-creator and executive producer Mike Volpe and star Jonathan Torrance, who, as it turns out, was dressed just like Mike Volpe. Anyway, we had a ton of fun. Now we're New Brunswick bound to check out a covered bridge before crossing over the Confederation Bridge to our final stop at the Inn at Bay Fortune, where we'll check in with proprietor Chastity Smith and we'll get it all in before the sun sets on our Maritimes in a Day road trip show. It's a little gray and foggy, but we like it. All right, we're coming up on Stewiac which is a fun thing to say, a fun name to say. Anyway, here it is here. But this is halfway, don't slow down on the highway stuff, St Stewiak, halfway between the North Pole and the equator. Huh? Don't say we didn't show you anything on CNBC. We're going by a little too fast to stop. We're on a major artery, so sorry about that. We're just passing Truro. That's the hub of Nova Scotia and the home of the Trailer Park Boys. Our good friends at CAA calculate we should get from here to here to here in approximately four hours. But I want to show you something first. All right, see these signs up here? Very important, okay? If you want to take the ferry to Prince Edward Island, then you got to go that way, which is actually the way that you would go to Cape Breton. And there are so many reasons to make that drive to Cape Breton. Nearly every cool people profile about Nova Scotia on our site will tell you a real must do is driving the Cabot Trail. Amazing year round for sure, but in all its glory come Celtic colors time. With more than 250 community cultural experiences across the island, this year's festival runs October 9th through the 17th. From world class concerts to community suppers to wonderful workshops, artistic adventures and so much more. You'll sure have the time of your life. For the full schedule of events and this year's stellar lineup of talent, visit Celtic-Colors.com. Also amazing, the Fortress at Lewisburg. It's a true national treasure. From the museum exhibits to the back-in-time guided tours, you can experience the majesty of the fortress by candlelight or simply explore the town on your own and talk to its inhabitants about their lives. It's open all year round with special events throughout. Visit at fortressoflewisburg.ca. Now a great many folks see their road trip end in North Sydney, or rather paused while they crossed the Great Atlantic to Newfoundland. That's me and my brother way, way back in the day, taking one of a hundred ferry crossings. Marine Atlantic provides the vessels that take travelers to either Port of Basque or Argentia. Have a look at marineatlantic.ca for times and ticket information. It's a great way to get there, and the best part, you'll have your car when you reach the other side. And once you're there, I gotta tell ya, Newfoundland is simply spectacular. There is so much to see and do. And if we had time to sail over on this trip, the first thing we would do is hug our Savs 5 birthday package partners at the lovely Sheridan Newfoundland with stellar suites, world-class hospitality, and spectacular views of St. John's in the harbor. It's an amazing spot to stay. And it's close to everything too, including the great Kitty Vitty Brewery. Established in 1996, you can take a tour of the independent brewery company, sample their award-winning products, and marvel at how they make their tasty brews. Oh, and you've got to go to the Johnson Geo Center for fascinating fun for the whole family. There's brilliant exhibits, educational camps, science and geology from the night sky to the deep blue ocean, even 3D movies like James Cameron's The Titanic Story. Visit geocenter.ca for all they've got in store there. Of course, we're here. And while time is flying, we've got to keep driving towards our next stop. That's the Wheaton Covered Bridge in New Brunswick, Sackville Township. We're cruising through our road trip with our soundtrack prize pack cranked. Loving the new Dave Gunning. 
We've got 2K Breton artists in the mix. Jordan Musician with some kick and country. And Keith Mullins with a little island soul. Speaking of music, we can't pass by Spring Hill, Nova Scotia without saluting the Anne Murray Center. Anne was just home to meet and greet her fans at the 26th annual celebration of the center. With everything from costumes to contracts, it's a massive collection of all things Anne. Hundreds of thousands of folks have made the pilgrimage to her hometown to take it all in, and you should too. Visit annemurriecenter.com for more details. And there's another place I tell everyone about. So this is Mass Town Market, which I love to stop because they have great cinnamon buns. But also, man, they've got everything you need. Sandwiches and um, flowers and produce and cinnamon buns, which I really get excited. That look, look at that lady. Have you ever seen a bigger ice cream cone in your whole entire life? That is ginormous. Is that even legal? We don't have time, Scott. We're just getting something to go, my friend. Something to go. Camera guy, Scott. Sing single scoop? Is that right? That's not a single scoop. We'll need lots of napkins. Holy, I guess you will. Or a drop sheet for the car. No spilling. All right, after that tasty timeout, we're New Brunswick bound and driving to Dean Brody's crop circles from our road trip soundtrack prize pack. We love seeing Mr. Brody tear it up in Moncton's Casino, New Brunswick. I even got to see my old pal and Miramichi NB boy, Jason Berry, there too, which gives me a great idea. Calling Jason Berry. On our way to New Brunswick, he is not in New Brunswick. He was there. This trip didn't time out. Hello. Jason Berry? Stephanie, how are you? I'm good. Is now a good time? Uh, it could be. I'm driving, but I've got my, uh... I'm driving! Are you? <laughs> I am! I'm on, a, I'm, on a, I'm on a road trip. Um, That's awesome. How's it going? How's the well, trip going? So far, so good. Where we're, are you right now? Well, that's a really good question. We're in Nova Scotia, and we're on our way to New Brunswick to see some covered bridges. And then we're heading, oh, yeah, and then we're heading to Prince Edward Island. Um, but we've already had lots of fun in Nova Scotia. We're trying to do the Maritimes in a day, right? Wow. I know, but just marginal. You know, like we're not stopping for a long time, but we're there for a good time. I'm still an ambitious journey. Indeed. But that's good. Well, thanks, man. Yeah. And so, Nate, you were just home, right? I am home, actually. I'm driving down the banks of the Miramichi right now. Stop it! Are you kidding me? You're still home? Well, I, I only flew home for the day okay. to, to look after a um, kind of a property thing. Oh, and very then good. I came, I came back with the whole family, and we're on the on the shores of the Miramichi, and we're oh my proceeding gosh. with this uh, this property. So it's pretty exciting. That's so great. So you've got your whole family in tow. This is perfect. Yeah, it's pretty fun. We're having a great time. Oh, you know, good. It's great here. So we're visiting. It's you know, the grandkids are visiting Nanny, and, nice. and we're here visiting some friends and just having a great time. It's been so beautiful here, you know? It is. It's amazing. Well, listen, I know our paths are not going to cross on this trip, but you're coming back in September because you are nominated again. Multiple nominee. Is that yep. right? It's pretty exciting, yeah. Oh. This year, I'm for Guitar Player of the Year and Studio of the Year for Barry Tone Studios. And then Dean and I are up for Single of the Year with Another Man's Goal. I mean, now seriously, what size is your mantle? Does it just run the length of your <laughs> home now, right? <laughs> it's, it's it's so exciting. It's hard to believe. Well, you know what I'm like. It's I'm just so thankful. It's just hard to believe it. We're well, still doing all this. It's so much fun. I'll tell you, it's yeah. well deserved. If there's anybody else, I know your Barry Tone Studios. You've you know had everybody from Michelle Wright to Terry Clark there. What are you working on? Anything yeah. really cool right now that you can tell us about? Uh, yeah, I'm working on a bunch of cool projects right now. There's one I love. The Scotty James guy, a young new guy. It's great. His amazing voice and. That's going well. And then, of course, the standard bunch of people that I'm lucky to work with, you know, Dean and, and Terry and all those guys are right. in and out all the time. And Jason Blaine was just in and, and left. And, oh, well, you that's know, we're so still good. maintaining all of that stuff. And then I do, you know, that I'm doing a bunch of stuff for like Oprah's network and, I know, and right? TNT and all that stuff. I do a lot of post audio stuff. So that's a lot of fun. That keeps the, the other stuff going to all the technical stuff. So it's I, a lot of fun. And you 
dull moment with you because when you're not doing work at the studio, work with a chorus, you are on the road. Now, uh, I've seen some lovely pictures of the Brodeo and uh, you've, been, <laughs> you've been out and about. Yeah, we, we're just doing a few little things in the summer with Dean. Okay. And then, of course, I'm out with Jason as well, Jason Blaine and Bunch. And that's the two sort of shows I'm working on most of the summer because the studio is a little busy. Right. But uh, in September now, right after the TCMA Awards, we're going on tour coast to coast with Dean and Paul Brand, which should be a lot of the road that's trip be a blast. tour. The road. I was actually afraid yeah. to use the road trip for this episode for fear I was in some sort of copyright infringement. But apparently, I, think you'd be fine. I hope we're so. We're all friendly here in the country. You know, <laughs> there you we go. Share that well, that's yeah. going to be that is going to be a blast. So just quickly now, because we aren't going to get down to your neck of the woods, as I said on this trip. If somebody not was too to, bad. It's not that much further. Well, fair, fair enough, but we're on a deadline here, buddy. Um, but but if they were to go down there, what should they do that only the people from your neck of the woods would know about? Give us like a little... In my neck of the woods? Yeah. Oh, man. I think if I if person only had a few hours to visit the Miramichi, I would say go to the wharf, check that out. There could probably be a show going on, and you can watch some amazing local talent play. Right. I would say drive by the French Fork Cove on your way because it's a beautiful sight to see at any time of the year. And then if you can make your way up river and just talk to anyone, you'll have a great time because you'll have nice coffee and probably one of the greatest conversations you'll ever have. Oh my God. All right. Well, if you don't, you if, if you, if you can't tell from this call alone that Jason Barry is the bee's knees, I mean, I'm serious. Uh, I can't, I, I'm serious, you are. I hope you and your family have a spectacular vacation, uh, this quick Thank journey, you. quick journey, and then um, I, I'm going to hug you to pieces on the green carpet in September, buddy. Awesome, I can't wait to look forward to it. You have a safe travel and get home safe. Okay, you too, Jason. Thanks. Say hi to your family. Okay. Will do. Take care. <laughs> okay, Steph. bye. Bye. And as we head to break, let's listen to Jason and Dean's CCMA-nominated single, Another Man's Gold. We'll be right back. Tonight I'll tuck her in and read her stories And hold her mama while the sunset glows My two arms full of this man's gold With someone will throw away is a crying shame those girls make our house a home Yeah, my cup overflows But this man's gone Welcome back to See and Be Seen. We're on our Maritimes in a Day road trip, cruising along to a little Tom Swift. The Halifax-based blues man was born in New Brunswick, so it's a fitting tune to take us across the Nova Scotia-New Brunswick border. Oh, we love being back. Moncton, St. John, Fredericton, St. Andrews by the Sea, they're all See and Be Seen favorites. Sure wish we had time to visit every inch of the Pitcher province. A quick check on our CAA map tells us we're about three hours from the awesome Algonquin Resort and Golf Course. They were Sab's five birthday package partners and we couldn't have been more pleased. I'll hold on to their hug until November. That's when I'll be there next for their very festive Holiday Rescue Weekend, November 20th through the 22nd. It'll be your one-stop shop for all things Christmas this season with celebrity guests, cooking and crafting demonstrations, a holiday market, wine sampling, and more. For information on the Algonquin Resort's Holiday Rescue, visit their site at algonquinresort.com. Our road trip's on track to cover off the covered bridge. I need to put my ticker on, though, because I'm on my way. Ticker? Ticker, what do you call it? Indicator? Indicator, that's, that's ridiculous. It's a ticker. Ticker. Blinker? Nope, ticker. Ticker. Well, listen. Yeah, but some, some go talk, 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 talk. No. Yeah, they do? Well, mine goes tick, 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 tick. Thus, I take her. 
Now there are over 50 covered bridges peppered throughout the Pitcher Province, but if we're going to make our final stop, the Inn at Bay Fortune, before nightfall, we'll only just be able to stop at the one. That's the Wheaton Covered Bridge, and it's the closest one for sure, but be sure to check out coveredbridgemap.com slash NB for an interactive look at all the covered bridges located throughout New Brunswick. Donkeys and hello! I always think it'd be cool if they answer. Oh, truck coming behind us. Sorry. Can he pass us? I'm gonna just let him pass. Can he pass? It's about eight. We're just sightseers. Hey? Yes, we're a little behind schedule, but this is good stuff. This is beautiful farm country here in New Brunswick. There it is. We found it. It's on High Marsh Road. I'm not sure that ever really was made clear up until this moment. We talk to locals, always stop. People are super friendly, eh? Very, very nice in this neck of the woods. Really in all of Atlantic Canada. That's in the brochure. I do not see Clint Eastwood or Merrill Street. Definitely low enough. Should we go through it? Sure. I know, but I feel like we should walk through it. Hey? How do we know? Four point, we're, we're low enough. Oh, whoa! Covered bridge, pretty cool, love it. Why the covered bridge? Why are they covered? Keep snow off them, I think. going back. Okay, so from one covered bridge to one of the world's longest bridges, the Confederation Bridge is a curved 12.9 kilometer, eight mile long bridge. And it's actually the longest in the world that crosses ice covered water. And more than 15 years after its construction, it endures as one of Canada's top engineering achievements of the 20th century. It took more than 500 local workers four years to build it at a cost of $1 billion. The Confederation Bridge opened to traffic May 31st, 1997. For more information, visit confederationbridge.com. The speed limit across the bridge is 80, and we need all the speed we can get because we are now more than two and a half hours behind schedule. The sun is setting, and we've got to get to the Inn at Bay Fortune before... Oh, no. Oh no, there's been an accident or something on the bridge. Is that true? Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, they're just letting traffic go one way. Because that's why there was just one stream of traffic. That makes sense. Oh. Or is it somebody important? No. It's either an accident or they're doing maintenance, but I'm just thinking that the, all the flashing lights up there means Something happened. You see some vacation pics? Oh, you know what? They're taking their dog out. I know, she's picking wildflowers. Life is simple. Hmm. I believe in this world, if everybody did this, doom, doom, ba doom, ba doom, ba doom, there'd be no traffic problems. Mm hmm. Don't you agree? I agree. People don't do that. We can let you. If he Oh, must be from Atlanta, Canada. Hey. Good folk. This this fella here lives on Prince Edward Island. That car up there is from Ontario. Buddy behind me. I can't tell. I don't know. It's hard to say. Everybody seems very happy to be going right now. Thanks, buddy. And I always give a wave. Hey, do you always give a wave? Not 
worse and worse and you don't get the wave. I believe. It's just driver's etiquette. Well, we're finally across. With time running out on our road trip clock, we'll crank up the stand fields and hightail it for the Inn at Bay Fortune. If only we had time to drop into Charlottetown, we'd thank our Sabs 5 birthday partners with a high five and a hug to the Holman Grand. Where luxury meets comfort, you can expect the finest stay and world-class service from the Holman Grand Hotel. With stunning views of the Charlottetown Harbor, it's great for a romantic getaway, a solo escape, or an adventure with the family and just around the corner the confederation center for the arts where there's always something incredible happening on stage including the much beloved must see Anne of green gables the musical visit confederationcenter.com for a complete list of events and shows and oh my goodness the golf on prince edward island golfpei.com showcases the 27 golf courses with over 400 fairways framed by pristine beaches and breathtaking scenery. They say play once and remember forever. Don't forget to put a round or two on your to-do list when you come to Prince Edward Island. Well, the only thing left to do on this road trip is turn in to the Inn at Bay Fortune. And we'll do that right after the break, but not before we give you a turn to win our Road Trip Soundtrack Prize Pack. Stacked with stellar East Coast talents, you'll score Dave Gunning's Lift, Keith Mullen's Island Soul, Tom Swift's The Fortunate Few, The Stanfield's Death and Taxes, Jordan Musician's The Pitch, and Dean Brody's Crop Circles. All six of those CDs can be yours if you can tell us which one of them was the most recently released. Remember, I gave a copy to Jonathan Torrance in part one? All right, once you know it, hit the website at cnbc.com, click on the TV Free Stuff button, and submit your answer. Good luck to you, and we'll be right back with the final stop on our Maritimes in a Day road trip show. Welcome back to our Maritimes in a Day road trip show. We're winding down with one last stop. And if you tuned into our home show, then you'll recall our pledge to check in with Chastity Smith. Now that she and her husband, world famous chef, TV host and author Chef Michael Smith have bought the Inn at Bay Fortune. And so we have. Oh. So pretty. Look at that. So pretty. We made it! Ladies and gentlemen, Chastity Smith, how Hello. are you? Were you worried we weren't coming, I bet? I was a bit worried. Yeah. But we're here at this beautiful spot. Thank you. We popped into the main house with their new fireworks restaurant, and due to our late arrival, the restaurant was already hopping. So we popped back outside to get our official report from one half of the dynamic duo. It is spectacular that you're here. Now you look like a million dollars, but you've been working hard, right? Oh my gosh, yes. We yeah. haven't stopped in about three months. It's yeah. just been go, go, go. And this year's big thing was uh, building fireworks right. and expanding out to the side of our building. And next year, our goal is to do a complete room makeover. And also we want to make this a, an open, like a gallery space, you know, like have on the rooms. We want to we wanna offer local art and we want to be able to sell it here. We want to nice. be able to showcase it here. So there's a lot of things yeah. that are kind of brewing and... Nice. Well, that comes. It yeah. all comes with the territory. And you're. The, but the interesting thing is, it's not like you shut down, right? Everything's going as it's happening, right? Like. What you mean, like? Uh, well, you weren't you fun like weren't you functioning as an in the whole time? Well, the whole time. I mean, we we basically we were we were uh, given the opportunity. We looked at the opportunity. This was kind of like almost. Well, I guess it was about December that things started right. to really rock and roll, and then so we had all this time to kind of make sure it was the right thing to do for us, and then. Come March, we went up here with the plows, and there was 12 feet of snow on either side, and we broke ground. So yeah, it, and, and then and then from there it's been full, yeah, full tilt. Yeah. And so we hope to expand the season until the end of November if we can. Right. And I really want to start doing some sort of special events, um, in the main house because it's all there's all wood burning burning fireplaces yeah. like. Uh, so two nice. rooms and I upstairs. saw that gorgeous and... table that you just had put yeah. in. Yeah. Beautiful harvest So table. it is. We have a company that built our kitchen at home called GCW, right. and they built a lot of our ironwork sets in the yeah. building. But also, Burks here on PEI has done a lot of our welding and a lot of our ironwork as well. So it's a real collaborative effort, nice. and uh, Michael Which and I are designs and just yeah. working with great, uh, great 
well, designers in their own right. Yeah, so, which is nice. yeah, so putting your great. putting the Smith sort of spin on the place. Yeah. But this is a full circle moment. Is it old home week for him or? Oh yeah, I would yeah. say so. I mean, you know, now he has this whole other level of knowledge and expertise and wisdom and maturity and all of that yeah. and that now he feels really grounded being in this sure. space right and i mean before he pals. was a punk chef that was coming up from new york and punk chef, you know, that's like <laughs> i would not well, say he that. was i mean you know he was known to like speed up and down this pl- this enough. road like a maniac yeah. now that we're parents it's like what we're gonna set out the speed traps right, right. on the road so yeah no for him it's for sure it's it's it's, it's, a, it's a teaching experience too because he gets to yeah. teach all these chefs and our restaurant is so busy on any given night we we are servicing 50 people a night and we only have a one seating per night uh, start six o'clock with oyster hour seven o'clock is a sit down component which is all feast format the chefs prepare right in front of you everything is cooked with wood you know with wood fuel and it's all this interactive experience yeah. we even like you to do some special things and surprises during the night and the food is incredible yeah. like seriously wow i mean yeah i know but but we have some really great uh, we have really great cooks i mean i'm telling you the creative you'd have to be to work in that kitchen i would say now i want to just ask you something because i don't know if you knew this but your cool people profile one of the highest rated cool people profiles in the history of cnbc well i would never have freaking guessed that no that's true and and maybe it might be the combo of newfoundland and prince edward island i mean you know like right? you're I, an East Coast girl through and through, and, and I'm through. a true Islander through and through because yes. I was born on the Rock and I was raised here right. and there. So for me, I'm a true Islander. Nice. Even though Islanders might not think I'm a true Islander, but you know what? Oh, I do. That's all changing now yeah. because we're we're you're, way more than here. just you know. Your Galance proprietors, your proprietors, yes, <laughs> and now Smiths will soon take over <laughs> the population. You have. Um, uh, uh, let me ask you this. Um, because you got sort of a lot of things on the go. Um, are you still singing and songwriting? What's happening I'm there? I'm still songwriting. Yeah. I haven't been performing as much. I did do um, a CD launch with a friend um, not long ago, and it was great. And are now, you going to entertain here? Yes, absolutely. Oh, in September, I nice. will. I will, for sure. Very good. I mean, there's a lot of things, a whole lot of things. I yeah. really want to engage this place with the arts community. I mean, right. we both really are you know, invested in it. Yeah. And... Uh, yeah for sure it would be nice you know my kids are still small I guess Stephanie I was never the type to go and slug it out on the road because I just always want it to be with them right and I think it's about time that I'm really honest with myself yeah. and realize that this here is really grounding for me nice. but it also allows me the creative platform to do the things and to be expressive and all of that which I so need exciting now you can watch this show and all the other great community one programming anytime you want simply click the on-demand button on your Bell Alliance fiber op tv remote and follow the steps on your screen huge thanks to dan quinton aka poster boy for our awesome maritimes in a day maps his typographic turn on atlantic canada was the perfect look for our road trip you can see those and all of his creations at posterboy.ca and be sure to visit cnbc.com where we celebrate the people places and things that make the four atlantic provinces so very special 24 7 cool people profiles fantastic features extended interviews and so so much more. And speaking of more, we couldn't be happier. CNBC TV will be back for season four in September. Sure hope you'll tune in then. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this has been our road trip. Uh, we've done the Maritimes in a day. Chastity Smith, thanks for waiting up. You're welcome. I hope you go to sleep now. <laughs> okay. Bye. Small but scrappy. She gets her done. Can you see yourself in the mirror there, little camera? We. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is clearly illegal on a couple of levels. Right? Can they give you a ticket retroactively? I don't know. Based on video evidence? I don't.